a racer, I've been racing nearly 20 years now, and, and the physics engine in the game responds to the same skill set as a racer does. Physics and Gran Turismo are extremely realistic. I grew up playing a lot of Gran Turismo, and that definitely had an impact on how I designed this vehicle. We opened it up to every designer, racer designer, DOS, RT, Jeep, Ram. We had 30 different concepts. It came back to our own heritage. Uh, the Viper was a big part of the inspiration, you know, and our muscle cars, of course. It had that emotional quality to it, just the way it was illustrated, even. It can be stationary, and it still looks like it's going fast. Active aero panel, deployable wing, an aluminum spine functional vent, hood scoop, exhaust port, integrated with a rear diffuser, the underbody, aerodynamics, and airflow are very much performance driven. If you saw it on a racetrack and you're 50 feet away, what stands out? The silhouette it has a, almost a humanistic or an animalistic feeling about it. The rear three quarter was one of the, the coolest workouts. This needed to be a really impactful piece of the design. This is what the gamer sees. We're all about the team and the collaboration. And we really approached it like we would any other performance vehicle. We worked with engineering very closely, probably more than a lot of designers would like. We still had that creative tension that we have between engineering and design. We wanted the performance to be at a level that would be at the limit of a gamer's reflex. The virtual driver requires this G-suit. The high-speed load tests the limits of human physiology. You kind of work your way through three different levels. The Tomahawk S is the entry level Tomahawk S. stands for street. The Tomahawk GTSR gets the weight down, increases the horsepower, turn a sports car into a race car. The Tomahawk X. And X stands for experiment. Every potential emerging technology, some technologies that aren't even invented yet, making a car go as fast as possible. When the user's driving the car, there's all these panels that are constantly moving the sounds that you get because of the systems creating downforce. The yaw force, you only see that in airplanes. Nine panels sear the car through the air. You can pull all those panels back where the car can achieve incredible top speeds. You recognize your dynamic details. They're integrated in a way that doesn't disturb the natural beauty of the car. It has guts to it. You know, we worked close with our engineering guys to make sure that it, it pushed the envelope. A really cohesive blend of function and aesthetics. It's an ultimate expression of what we do. They brought the best of our engineering imagination and design prowess into one machine.